delicious marinades for steak. One chilli soy marinade and one balsamic soy marinade. Now these are perfect for steaks and perfect for this time of year, for celebrating Chinese New Year, but also for any time of year, for barbecues in the summer, for evening dinner parties or for light lunches. For the balsamic soy marinade, we need chopped shallots, balsamic vinegar, garlic, olive oil, Dijon mustard and soy sauce. And for the chilli soy marinade, we need soy sauce, olive oil, garlic, chilli paste and some Worcester sauce. And we'll be marinating these lovely sirloin steaks. First of all, I'm going to start with the balsamic soy marinade. They're so easy. I'm going to put into a bowl my shallots, my garlic, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard and then soy sauce and I'm going to use about four tablespoons. A lot of recipes use a lot of light or dark soy sauce but with Kikkerman you just need the one. Give it a little whiz. And that's it, that's our balsamic soy marinade. And now for the soy chilli marinade. So I've got some chilli here, I'm using chilli paste. I've got some garlic, my olive oil, Worcester sauce, and then four tablespoons of soy. And again, I'm just going to mix these up. The great thing about these marinades is that they all have a base of the soy sauce, the garlic and the olive oil and then you can add what you want to it. Coriander works really well, nice but fresh chilli, green chillies, whatever you want. Um, it's also really nice I think to do both these marinades together because you've got the chilli with a bit of a kick for people who like it and then you've got the slightly softer balsamic one which still has a hit from the mustard but it's not quite as punchy. And we're done. Now I've got these beautiful steaks here. These are little hand cut thin sirloin steaks. You can use whatever steak you want, whatever cut you want is fine. Minute steaks are beautiful, really, really beautiful, and they flash fry, but then you marinate them for, for even less time. So I'm going to put two steaks in there, two in here, and then I'm just going to get your hands in. So this is my balsamic soy one. I'm going to pour it in. My mother always said, you're going to cook, you have to cook with your hands. So don't be afraid, get your hands in there, really squinch it around. And then that's going to go in the fridge for about half an hour. You don't really want it anymore unless you had a really thick piece of steak and then you could marinate it for longer. But really, you just want half an hour, you want to get those flavours infused, but you still want the steak flavour as well. And exactly the same for the chilli one. So that's in there really coat it. There we go, ready to go in the fridge. So time to cook the steaks. I've got my soy chilli marinade here. Basic thing to remember is you need a really hot pan, smoking hot. So open up your windows, put your extractor fans on because you're going to smell the house out. That's just what happens when you cook steak. We don't need any oil on the pan because there's oil in the marinade. That's what you want to hear, the sizzle. There we go on that one. Just leave them then. Don't touch them, don't fiddle with them, just leave them. They probably will go these for about a minute and a half or so each side, but it just depends on what cut of meat you have as to how long you cook them for. The smell of that is amazing, absolutely beautiful. The chilli and the garlic and the soy really brings out the flavour of the steaks. I like my steaks rare. I like a little bit of blood, not quite a lot actually but it really doesn't matter. The thing about having well done steak, if you like it well done, is if you cook it so you've got that lovely seared outside, cook it on the other side for just a little bit longer and then rest it. Rest it as long as you cook it. You shouldn't get, if it's well done, any blood at all, but you shouldn't have to get a piece of leather on your plate either. Right, I think we're ready to turn. There we go. That one. Another tip is on that pan, if you're using these grill pans, what's great about them, it will not turn if it's not ready because it gets stuck to the bottom and it needs that heat to turn. So I think we're pretty much there. I'm going to let these steaks rest. And as I said, 
if you rest them as long as you cook them, then it really, really relaxes and it just brings out all that beautiful flavour. Into this pan, I'm just going to add that soy marinade. It's done exactly what we wanted it to do. It's just bubbled up. That chilli's really going in my eyes. And you're just going to get a little bit of a thicker glaze that you can glaze over the top of your steaks. And now for the balsamic soy marinade. It's reducing nice, we've got those big bubbles. And there you have it, my delicious soy marinated steak. I'm serving it with a salad, obviously, but you can choose what you want. Noodles, mashed potato, or good old chips. Thank you.